Annex your memory in 10 short minutes. If you watch to the end of this video, you will literally have an entirely different method of memorization, which I've never seen fail on anyone. It's literally the magic memory sword and I guarantee you'll never look back. Are you up for a challenge? Well, you can prove it for yourself by memorizing 10 words today and see how different things are literally by the end of this video. Make sure you follow the steps through the entire video and then leave a comment below. Tell me whether it made a difference to you or not. Let's take a quick step back here though. Why do we actually want to improve our memory? Well, the seemingly superpower nature of those who can remember large amounts of information is amazing. Our brain still outspeeds any computer or device available to us in terms of capacity and speed of recall. So it makes a lot of sense to be able to do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is give you 10 words to memorize. Ferrari. Chicken. Teaspoon. Egg. Sunglasses. Spaceship. Keyboard. Light. Sandwich. Phone. Now try and memorize these words. Now the average person remembers five to seven out of these 10, and they aren't necessarily in the right order either. How did you do? Okay, so let me tell you a quick story. Two of my eldest children, as with all children, are very different from each other. My eldest son had always been outsmarted by his sister when it came to memory tests to the extent that he'd pretty much given up trying to compete and she'd won pretty much every time we had a competition. So once when we were on holiday, I handed my son a book by Tony Buzan, named The Memory Book, and told him to read five pages from a certain chapter. After his initial reluctance, he forcefully read the first page, and then suddenly his eyes opened wide. I said, let me know when you're ready. An hour later he said, yep, yeah, I'm ready, Papa. So I put up another family memory test. My daughter was ready as always, knowing she'd never lost one of these tests, as she was naturally a very strong memory. She was a little concerned though, as her brother was showing an enormous self-confidence, which was very unusual. It didn't matter though, as she'd never lost a test before. I read off 10 words at random and told them they had five minutes to memorize. In less than three minutes, my son had come back and his sister didn't believe it. and said, okay, go on then. My son reeled off every single word without any mistake, and to top it off, he then did them backwards when I asked him to do it. Everyone was in shock, but how did he do it? Now let's open the secret box and give you the magic memory sword. So let's get back to these words, and now we're gonna use the visual and associative features of your memory. Here's how it's gonna work. I want you to imagine that there's a fantastic red Ferrari driving really fast down the road. It pulls up to traffic lights, roars its engine and scares the chicken in the local field so much that it flies up and over the fence and lands in the car. As it lands in the car, it finds a golden teaspoon in the back seat. The chicken is so startled when the car roars off again that it lays an egg. The driver of the car starts getting startled by the sun and so reaches into the glove compartment and, set, and gets some sunglasses. As they're driving along, a huge spaceship from SpaceX lands in the field next door. The driver stops the car, pulls out his laptop, but the keyboard is broken. All the laptop is doing is showing a flashing light on the display. What could be wrong with it? In all this activity, it seems such a long time since we've had lunch, but in his bag, on the back seat, the driver has a nice sandwich. He grabs a sandwich and gets out his phone to take a picture of the amazing sight in front of him to send to his wife. Now, remembering this story, note, remember the story, not the words. And now, how many words can you recall? Once you start to do this properly, you will start to remember all 10 words with ease and with consistency. It's all about the story and having triggers, emotional and associative triggers. The huge Ferrari, the chicken, what a crazy sight. The teaspoon, who on earth would have thought of that? And you can just reel them off one by one. 
Leave a comment below to tell me how many words you can remember. There are so many techniques to, to improve your memory, and this is just a very small glimpse into the world of memory. Visual memory and association are one of so many techniques that are available. They've been known for centuries, but for some reason, they're just not common knowledge. We've always been taught to learn by repetition in most cases. But hang on, why are we looking to improve our memory? Or a big question, why do you actually want to improve? I believe that we should constantly be looking to improve in every part of our lives, as much as is possible for us. Today we've spoken about our memory, with the purpose of this channel is to improve as many facets of our lives as I hope possible. you enjoyed the video and really benefited from the technique that I have explained. It's all about visualization and making a story. So the Ferrari coming around, the chicken jumping in there, and the teaspoon, you're never gonna forget that because in your mind, you're not just thinking about three things, you're thinking about this almost ridiculous thought of a Ferrari and a chicken landing in there. Who would ever have thought that? And then a teaspoon on the, I mean, you're not gonna think about this, but just those vivid memories will mean that you just will not forget that story. And that's how this method of memorization works. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you again really, really soon.